Hello and welcome to Crappy Cooking. This is a similar show to Bruh Baking, but it revolves in just cooking and not baking because I guess there's a difference. I recently saw this recipe and I was like, I'm gonna try it because one, I'm going camping soon and this seems like a good, like, easy camping recipe. And two, I love tortillas and chicken and cheese and sauce stuff, so this should be good. As always, I'm gonna read through the ingredients first and then show you what to do. So the first thing you'll need for the recipe is four chunk chicken breast rib meat cans. I believe what the person making the TikTok like recipe that I found this from are saying it's four smaller individual cans, but I found two big ones that essentially equal four. This could be wrong, but this is how I'm gonna try it for the first time. The next thing you'll need is phage total Greek strained yogurt and it's gonna be one fourth of a cup. I don't necessarily think you need this exact brand, I'm just gonna try it out because I've never had it before. Next you'll need half a cup of shredded cheese. I got this like, what is it, eight ounce bag and it's two cups so I'm gonna have a little bit left over, but it is half a cup. Next you'll need Frank's Red Hot Wings Buffalo and it's two tablespoons of this. I've never had this sauce before, but I love anything that has to do with buffalo so I'm excited. So I'm kind of deviating from the original recipe because I couldn't find this when I went shopping, but basically you'll just need some sort of seasoning and I got like this complete seasoning mix. Last but not least, you're gonna need some tortillas. I had some in my cabinet already, so I didn't have to get any. If you wanna get like the exact kind that was in the video that I'll list in this video, you can. I just got some regular tortillas. So the first thing I'm gonna do is kinda heat up my stove. It says to do it at medium. Just make sure your stove is hot. I basically have it at medium and I'm gonna let it heat up while I mix everything. But a lot of this recipe literally is just combining all these ingredients and then putting it on the tortilla and then heating it up. So all you basically have to do is get the right measurements and then put it in the bowl, mix it up, and then put it on the tortilla and cook it. So I'm gonna first start off with the chicken. Ah, I'm gonna push it down so the juice comes out. Gross. Squish, squish. Me, one chicken. Chicken. So the next thing I'm getting is the one fourth a cup of the Greek yogurt. Ooh, ooh, weird. Wee. Now I have so much yogurt. One fourth a cup of yogurt. Ooh. According to the video, this recipe is supposed to be like something that's super high in protein and low in calories. So if that's something you're interested in, there you go. Next, I'm gonna do the half a cup of shredded cheese. That's probably more, but whatever. <laughs> okay, there's that. Uh, I'm strong. I'm strong. How do I do this? <laughs> it's two tablespoons of the Frank's Red Hot. Whee! Oh, goodness. One, two. And then I guess I can just add, it didn't say a specific amount, so if you just want to add like as much seasoning as you want, that smells good. And then you mix. Yay. It looks really yellow on camera, but it's pretty much just orange. Wee. I love anything that has to do with like chicken, cheese, tortillas, buffalo sauce. You ask my sister what I get at like Buffalo Wild Wings and it's like the chicken tortilla wrap. This is kind of what it looks like. These are pretty small, so I would definitely recommend probably getting bigger tortillas. So I'm just going to slather this on the tortilla, like this. Then what the recipe said to do is you cook the tortilla on the stove and switch it from side to side for like five to seven minutes. So I'm gonna try that. Might have added a bit too much this round, but you know, experiment. Here, I'm gonna get a clock or a timer. I'm gonna do it for seven minutes. I like my stuff crispy. So this is here for seven minutes. Shout out to Jacob Howeird for the recipe because I saw this on your TikTok and on my For You page and I said yes. I'm gonna just let it do its thing for seven minutes. Okay, so it's basically been seven minutes. I'm gonna turn this over. Come on, flip. Ah, that's dark as frick, oh no. I'm gonna do the other side for five minutes instead. Yeah, RIP, that's pretty dark. Ooh, it looks good though. Yeah, no, this is like an easy, it smells good kind of thing, you know. 
That's definitely enough for at least two people. For like four thingies. Ugh, there's air in this. What? We. How do I get this on? We. We. Also, I think I, I burnt it unequally, so it's gonna look bad, but it's gonna taste good, I'm guessing. Okay. First one done. As you can see, this was my first attempt. It's not called crappy kitchen for nothing. I'm gonna just try it without sauce. Mmm, 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 mmm. I know it's burnt, but you can kind of see like there's the chicken and then it's like kind of orangey, which is the sauce. But yeah, nah, this is good. Thank you, TikTok man. Hi. I might make this for like my family or something. This is good. Okay, I'm gonna try it this time in the sauce. I do declare this be bussin'. I'm gonna try it in the hot. It's already hot, but <laughs> it's gonna be worse. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna flip this one like maybe you oh, my tongue's on fire. No! I'm gonna get some milk, bruh. She needs some milk. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This one's way better than the other one. Ooh. Come on. While the charred one was equally like taste as good as the less charred one, this one's easier to eat. <laughs> I'm not skilled enough to do that yet. But yeah, that's basically it. I'll have like the basic directions and stuff and ingredients in the description. Oh, I'm burping now, but that's really good. So thank you very much for watching. If you end up trying this, let me know how it goes. Super simple and super good. So thank you for watching. Bye.